This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Jurors wrapped up day eight of deliberations in the Cal Harris murder trial yesterday, and it looks like there is an end possibly in sight. At the end of the day yesterday, jurors sent out a note saying they were deadlocked for the second time. The jury also stated they think any further deliberation would be, quote, fruitless. The defense argued that the case should be determined a mistrial, but the prosecution disagreed. Court will resume this morning to deter determine what the next step is. Stay with WENY News for any updates. Chemung County has been drafting a local solid waste management plan, part of which includes a proposal to increase the capacity of the Chemung County landfill. And tonight, the county will hold a public information meeting to present the plan and allow people to ask questions. According to our media partner, the Star Gazette, the proposal would increase the landfill capacity from 180,000 tons to 417,000 tons. This could accommodate waste from more surrounding communities and could create additional revenue for the county. Chemung County Executive Tom Santulli says the county is obligated to create a plan every 10 years. The public meeting is at 7 o'clock tonight at the Hazlitt Building in Elmira. The Tioga County Sheriff's Office is looking for a person who allegedly stole money from the Candor EMS building yesterday. The video you see here, provided by the Sheriff's Office, shows the person they're looking for. The burglary happened around 1 o'clock in the morning Monday. Police say the subject took an undisclosed amount of money, and that money was proceeds from the Mother's Day chicken barbecue. Anyone with information or anyone who can identify the subject should contact the Sheriff's Office. The Chemung County Spring Household Hazardous Waste Collection event will take place this Saturday, but pre-registration is required and the deadline is tomorrow. The collection is free of charge for Chemung County residents. Some items you can get rid of include ammonia, antifreeze, batteries, cleaning products, and pesticides. Do not bring latex paints or electronics. To register by Wednesday's deadline, call the Cornell University Cooperative Extension of Chemung County. Now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey Craig. Okay Leanne, thanks a lot. Good morning to you as we take a look here at the setup for midweek because the weather pattern is in the process of changing. Uh, you know, we've been excessively above normal with temperatures solidly in the 80s. We hit 88 yesterday. Today, not going to be the case, but this is for midweek in specific. And I want to bring this up to you because uh, Cold high pressure is settling its way south from Canada. And I think as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, we will likely start with frost because uh, the skies will clear as this high builds south and wind speeds will become light Wednesday night, which will lead to the development of frost here uh, by Thursday morning. Thursday morning starting in the 30s with the warm, humid air suppressed to the south and west. So kind of uh, a better picture of things for you. It was 88 yesterday, today, uh, yesterday. I think today we top out at 76, but there we go. Wednesday at 58. Wednesday night, Thursday morning, we'll get down into the 30s, but a nice recovery for the afternoon to 66. And temperatures uh, do continue to turn milder as we head into uh, the weekend. So yesterday we had some storms that moved through. This is uh, a shot from Dustin in Bath of quite the bolts streaking across the sky there. Uh, yeah, really neat shot. Electric storm in that neat, Leanne. I love those. I think they're so awesome. Yeah. Uh, and scary. It's scary. Definitely got to be careful doing it. Uh, he was inside, I believe, but I'm still sure. lightning can come through windows. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll go into the summer and start to see the frequency of thunderstorms increase. So uh, talk about some luck, though. Yeah, I it's mean, hard to time those. Yeah. I've never had success Fraction with Fraction of a second, yeah. those lightning bolts. But anyway, Dustin, thanks for the shot. Great picture. Let's talk about your forecast today. So again, 76. Cooler, less humid, maybe a shower or two. Uh, there are the remnants. That is the remnants right there. Uh, that mass of clouds that you see. That was once Tropical Storm Anna. We have a front that's in the process of coming through that will take Anna and what's left of her and uh, scoot out to sea. And then for us, westerly winds will pick up this afternoon. I think they become notable through the afternoon as well. So 
Heading into the afternoon, wouldn't be surprised to see wind gusts 25, 30, 35 miles an hour. And there may be a shower in spots around the region today, but I think most of the day is dry with a little bit of sunshine. But we still have some lingering energy that will come through here tonight with uh, a couple scattered showers. You can see that represented in the green there. A few drops into Wednesday morning and then skies will clear from north to south through the day on Wednesday. But again, Wednesday is our day where we do not, we fail to get to 60. We're going to stay in the 50s and then Wednesday night with the clear skies in the 30s. So frosty start to Thursday, but sun and 66 for the afternoon. Some showers Friday night, reserved for late Friday, Friday night into Saturday. Uh, and, you know, it shouldn't be a rain out, but there will be a couple scattered showers around at least to start the weekend. Better for Sunday, partly cloudy and 78. Okay, Leanne. Plus, those temperatures are going back up. Yep. So don't be too afraid of the 50s tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day, everyone.